All right, so here we. Oh shit! Forgot to take out the upstart. My bad. Uh, let's go ahead and just put future fusion, I guess, back in. It's not really, not really too much you can do with future fusion, but I, I, I guess we're gonna play it today. So, yeah, uh, take out the F start once again, and we're gonna be going back in with some D heroes. But this is going to be the last video, sadly. I really have fun. I really have fun playing this deck. This man, this deck is just really fun. So, yeah, there's not really too much to say. Um, it's just a really fun deck. So. Without further ado, we're going to get straight into the video, but before we do that, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already, and also if you guys can, click in the app to help support the channel. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into these duels and see what we can do with, Dra uh, damn, I was about to call these Dracos, for some reason, because of this card, I was really finna call these Draco heroes. Alright, so here we go, we're going to be playing a match today. Going up against Ektos, you guys don't see the name yet, but it's there. It's called Ektos. And we have won the Rock, Paper, Scissors, and it looks like he's playing the Holy fuck, this is a very, very bad hand. But you know what? We can work with this because we did open up Vion. And hopefully, hopefully we do play Triple Shadow Mist. Because if we don't, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. But we do! Yes, we do play Triple Shadow Mist. And you guys know the combo of what's going to happen right now. We're going to get a lot of things going. So we're going to use this young mist. We're going to grab the young man known as Pomerization. And you know what we actually can do? We can actually leave this Vion on the board by discarding us. You know what? No, we're not going to do that. You know, the reason we're not going to do that. Oh, shit. You know what? We might do that. I think it might be in our best entrance to actually do that. Because what we can do is just get the Celestial already ready for the next turn. And I think that might just be a good thing. Because if he doesn't kill this, then we're just we're just really set up for a lot of things. Um, here we go. I'm going to go into the young Beatrice. Oh, no. You know what we can do? We could uh, we can do our play, the, the one I was talking about. Um, we can go ahead and send this and send play. Then we can go ahead and stack for play because we don't want the Shadow Mist. Like I said, we can use the Twin Switcher for the other Shadow Mist. We can use this Mally. And sadly, we don't have another Palmerization because if we did, we would have been able to um, go right now um, into a Draco E quest. And we would have been really good. We, oh, never mind. We might draw into it. Oh, no. It's a Destiny draw. Sadly, we have did not um we did not have another destiny hero on our hand but we're gonna go ahead and go crystal wing and now you know i think this is a pretty good board when you open up beatrice beatrice crystal wing with a twin twister set you, you you're doing pretty good now you son of a bitch well he's not we're not doing too fucking good are we but you know what it's okay um what we're going to send is probably fusion substitute it's exactly where we're going to send because we like i said we do have a shadow mist and we can just d draw Whatever we draw, and he's giving us a he's giving us a grand. You know what? That's fine. Let's see what this man is playing. He's probably playing. If, if it's a match, holy fuck! It's goddamn fluffles. Oh, thank God, thank thank the Lord, we have not lost. And you know what? We're going to put it on him next turn. Hopefully, we do draw a pot of avidity so we can get something good. And you know what? I did not notice, you guys. I did not know Deadly Guy was not out in TCG. Well, that is a fantastic draw. So what we're going to do here? So we're going to normal summon, and then we're going to um, go ahead and set this, and go ahead and set this, because we do have a young man known as Celestial dead in the graveyard, and we can just go ahead and use him to go ahead and grab us two free extra cards, and we have drawn a pot of avidity, which is the best thing you could possibly do, and then you know what we're going to do right now, we're going to use this fusion substitute, we're going to see what we can draw here. Hopefully we draw into some ooh, pot of cupidity, you know what, we're going to use this pot of cupidity before we use this pot of avidity. Ooh, mind control. So now we can use that and go into a nothing because we don't play any. Oh, we do play a rank four. We can go ahead and break itself. So how about right now we just use this pot of avidity and we put back all three Mallies because that is just a fantastic thing to do. And we draw into a destiny draw, which really sucks. But you know what? It's cool. We can use this, but I don't think we can use polymerization, can we? All right, let's see what we banish. The diamond dude strike all right vion and all this extra stuff but you know what? everything is all right with that we're gonna go ahead and just go into a young castell can we castell himself we can't activate this effect so you know what we're gonna do we're definitely gonna just get a young 2000 going straight on in because we do have a dimensional barrier for fusions 
So we can definitely stop our opponent next turn. And you know what? I don't know if should I even use this Castell right now? I don't think I should. I don't think that would be an actually a good investment in my behalf. That is not a good investment. You know what? We're going to wait because we do have this dimensional barrier. And with this dimensional barrier, we can stop our opponent from doing a lot of things. We also have a twin twister. Get rid of the dead pot of the desires because I do not want to use another one. Because look at this. Look at all the good stuff that's already managed. A Celestia, one Vion. Um, that's fine with me. One set is completely all right. And then we're going to go ahead and end phase. Because we don't want anything. Oh, excuse me, of the sort. Oh, wow. So few. This is the first time in my life I've, I've ever seen. Uh, what's the name to actually just draw bad? Uh, as this, this is the first time I've ever seen Fluffles Blake just draw bad. So what we're going to do is just grab. Oh, we should have probably got the other guy. But you know what? It's okay. It's all right. Can we? We can use this effect. To, no, we can't. Oh, okay, you can only use once per turn. So let's go ahead and use this D draw to make him just feel bad. Make it feel. Oh, there we go. And that's all we needed. Um, which is just it's it's just so good. You just can't you can't beat it. You can't beat what you can't beat this. You just can't beat. So what we're going to do, since he only has six thousand left, we're gonna just gonna go ahead and um, I guess put back the. What is a better, I guess we can put back Drill Guy. Drill Guy is, you know, the better one, I guess. We can. Um, we're going to use this young as a second Mally because he, part of Avidity with this triple Mally is just, is just ridiculous. You just, you shouldn't be able to do that. It should be a, it should be a limited thing. We're not going to use this dimensional barrier because that's going to really just hurt our feelings. Oh, a lore. We're going to go ahead and activate this rotor. We're going to just thin our deck right now. Um, we just search another Drill Guy. And we can use this allure for a drill guy. We can use a promisation. But we're going to just, you know, you're going to just, you know what? I shouldn't be doing this because this is a match. That is completely my fault, you guys. Don't don't ever do that. If you're playing a match, don't just show your opponent your whole deck. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm showing my opponent literally the whole deck. And he's finally surrendering. But you, you don't ever do that. As you can see, we don't really have anything to side. We could side in this upstart, but that's not going to be a good. If he is a smart fluffle player, he's going to let me go first. What? I don't know. He did see me open. Yeah, no, he's probably going to let me go first. Cause I believe I got Dark Hold. I don't think I got Regeki. I think I got Dark Hold. So that means he's playing Regeki, double Dark Hold. So he should let me go first because Fluffles went to OTK. Not really set up because I can break his board and he can break my board. So he should want to go second. Hey, but that's, you know, that's me. That's what I figured out playing against Fluffles. You want to just make them go first. And as you can see, we have still opened up a very beautiful hand, which we could easily just, I mean, once again, get our shit going. Send the mist. Miss is going to right now search a celestial, I believe. Um, yeah, we're going to get a celestial here because um, we already have the Mali. We don't really need to. Once again, we can do the same play we just did, which is get those two dead in the graveyard and, you know, have something for next turn. When I go into the deadly guy, bam, and then like it's just all good. It's all good. Hopefully he does not have another what's in him because that's going to really suck. But you know, you can't really stop your opponent from just having the best hands in the world because that just seems to happen every time I play. They just have every out, have the best things to do. Um, so yeah, uh, and then now I guess we can put back Diamond Dude. Um, yeah, we can put back Diamond Dude. I think Diamond Dude is the the one you don't really care about. Um, even though it is a good summon. It is a good card to summon. Probably need to put Double Coral Dragon in here. Just because of the fact that we can use this to Zoken to do more, multiple things. And if we draw into a Parmization, this just gets even it just gets even better. Oh, we draw a Twin Twister. So that's, that's just immediately automatically better. We just end up with the same board. But we end up even, you know, sadly, we don't have another trap. But, hey, we know what? This is good, boy. This is good. Once again, we, we can lose to another, uh, what's the name? A Regeki or a Darko, which I, I'm just going to believe he has. Because, um, you know what? Do I care about Fluffle Bear? You can only use one Fluffle Bear per turn. You know what? I think, hmm, I played against a lot of Fluffles. That, 
you know what? No, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna do anything that because fluff and wings is the problem. It's not the bear. I don't. I can care less about your toy vendor. It's just all about the damn wings. The fucking plus two is just really hurting. The plus two just really hurts. And then you know I should possibly possibly put a farfa in here. I can probably just cut the. You know what? That's going to. You know what? No. Do I hit that? I think I do now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna use crystal wing right, and it's gonna it's gonna low low him low him into a false sense of security. Of him being able to uh, go ahead and freely get that. Because he's not going to believe I have a strike down here. Um, King of the Swamp. That's probably what I should have st stroke. Because right now he's probably going to go into a tiger. Oh no fluffle thing. Yay King of the Swamp. Alright so we're all we're just we're just ready right now. Fry for fusion. That is 100% fine. Because the, you can't go into the. the, the can you go on a tiger? You can't go into the one that attacks. I know that because you need the proper materials. You can't go into Tiger. Okay. So he's he's going to quit. He can only target those two. And we're going to hit him with a smooth strike. And he, I believe Actos is going to quit because all he has is a polymerization and a toy vendor. Yeah. Okay. Well, in phase, we're going to go ahead and use this. And then we're going to once again. See, look, this could have been a Farfa. So we could have always been in a good position where is the fusion substitute we're going to do that because that's just this is a good thing to do draw and we've drawn we've drawn terrible but you know what we can do we can do this and get a free draw and once it, oh okay no that that's even better that's even completely better because we can get rid of everything in our hand um okay yeah, he's going to surrender we got a good match be right back and right there, we could have went Draco E Quest and just literally flooded our, bo our board with Scarlet Void, Crystal Wing, and a Draco E Quest with a Beatrice. Oh, wait. Yep, that's five. No, yep, yep, we could have had five. Triple level H, and this hand is okay, depending on what we draw. Um, actually, it doesn't really depend on what we draw because we do have a Shadow Mist. We have an Allure, so we can definitely just Foolish... We can foolish a play, right? Go into Coral Dragon, pop a card because we're going to have. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna we can pop a card, and then proceed to go in um, into. Wait, we can go Draco Eat Quest, and then get double pop, right? Because Coral Dragon is a fusion, correct? And, wow, Coral Dragon is a dragon. Okay, go ahead. Come on, B B B C O B C O. Just go ahead and do your shit. All right. Ooh, well, shit. That is just even. That's even better. Um. So what we can do? Core dragons a dragon, right? Yeah. So we can do that. As a matter of fact, I think we can do our play now, because right here we could send, we could send mist and search. Yeah. Okay. I think we can do our play. I think we can do our play here, folks. I think we can finally do the play. Um, we're going to send mist, right? We send Mist to go ahead and search Mali. There's the Mali. We're going to use Vion to. We're going to use Vion to go ahead and search the other polymerization. I don't know if we use. I don't know if we get fusion substitute here. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. So I can go. I'm going to Tzokin. Tzokin's going to get me another card. Token's so gonna get me another card. Um, no, I don't think we get fusion substitute. I don't think we can use fusion substitute. What we're going to find out actually right now. What we're going to use is this young foolish. We're going to send a plague. Where are you at, plague? We're going to send plague. And then you know what we can do because we do have an allure of darkness and we do have a guaranteed shadow, like a guaranteed dark to draw into. We can just easy allure right now. We can use this allure. Hopefully, we don't draw into a Mali. And oh my God, we draw into Soul Charge. How how good can this goddamn deck get? How fucking good can this shit get? Oh wait, we needed the damn. No wait, we have Soul Charge. Okay, so I mean, if we didn't draw Soul Charge, I think we kind of we needed the mist actually. All right, so you you decided that you want to play Wabaku and you change strike. That's completely fine. So what I took twelve, and I do no damage, but it's okay. What the f I was about to say, what else could you do? Um, here we go. 
and then we go into Tzadok and hopefully we draw into a monster. So that is something that we probably we probably need to remember. Okay, so I did need to remember that. That is completely my fault. And a monster. No, we have not drawn into a monster, but it's okay because it. Oh, never mind. I don't. Yeah, we didn't need a monster because we can use this Tzadok and we can go Crystal Wing, right? Then we can use uh, Mally. This would have been game too if you didn't if you didn't use that wobble because this would have been game. Um, then we could use this polymerization to go into a Draco request. Bam and bam. Mm. You said Draco request. If you banish the Tzokin and set another card and get a void and set my whole hand. The power, the, 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 just the power of this. Bam. And we can get a void. Whoop. Um, and then, do we even need to soldier? This is not once per turn, is it? Yeah. Yeah, this, I can search another poly right now if I felt like it. I can. And I can literally put this back in the extra deck. But you know what? We're going to just keep it. We're going to keep it smooth. We're actually, I don't know. We might not keep it smooth. I may decide to actually wait. I can get Vylon, Vion. Why did I call it Vion? I can, no, I can't actually use it because I need to banish a hero, right? So I have to banish Mally. I think that's the last Mally. I can banish Mally, search Fusion Substitute, and then use. No, because I need um, a Dark Effect. So I'll have to get rid of um, Void Orb or Dragon, which I do not want to do. So we're going to end our turn right there. And hopefully, this man does not. And I mean, I repeat, do not have Lava Golem, but I know me saying it means it's going to probably happen. And then next turn, I can just banish, um, banish Coral Dragon and use its effect to pop. And it looks like this man is easy. He's setting in all of it. Card of the, why would I not negate that? Is this, you can only, fuck, he has another card of the Mars. There's no possible way. BCO, you're a boss. BCO, you're a boss. Yep, I knew it. See? I knew exactly what it was when he activated it. I'm like, why would you, you would not just activate Carter Demise to think, why was it, why can't, why is this not, you can only use it once per turn? Magical fucking mallet. Wow, that's, that's amazing. But he can't special summon, so at least we don't, we don't die. We draw for turn, that's a D draw. We use you. Bannister Coral. Pretty sure he's going to start chaining now because if he doesn't, Curse of Darkness. Okay. Well, I think he's conceding because this this is this is dumb. Threatening War. Yep. Oh, that's that. And then he's going to use the third one. No, you're not. You're going to leave it up to me. Okay. Oh, we're going to use you. That's at the end of the turn, correct? Well, wait, what? You tell him spell cards activated. Okay, well, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about that. I can't attack, so. That is the end of that. I'm pretty sure I win. I should win. I don't know. It depends on if he has a lava golem or something, because then we just lose from there. GG, what does that mean? Do you have something or are you scooping? Oh, he's, I think he's, oh, Celestial, we can D draw, right? Nope, we already discarded it. Let's go ahead and normal, hey, does it have an effect? Does not have an effect, okay. So, conventional wisdom says attack with this, but the Yu-Gi-Oh in me says attack with this because you never know what might be set and it's absolute blackjack, which I frankly do not give three shits about because I can strike it or I can just void Ogre Dragon it. And I think that's what's going to happen because I don't care about a blackjack. And how long has this been? This has only been 19 minutes. And you know what? I think we, oh shit. I think we might get one more duel depending on what BCO does here. We're going to get one more duel with this D Hero Jack because you know what? Like I told you guys, I really enjoy playing this deck. This deck is fun. And we finally put off the Draco E quest. Or how have you pronounce it? We finally pulled it off, which is just fan fucking tastic. So 
looks like VCO is going to do this. And you know what? I, I already have like the moral victory. So I really don't care. I think I'm just going to go ahead and hit surrender. Going to give him about five more seconds. You know, let's give him 10 because I really do want to see his life points at zero because he is playing chain burn. So, um, yeah, let's just count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, I'll be right back. And you know what's sick is that he was going to literally sit there and wait until the timer ran out. That's just hurt. I don't know. I don't get why you. I don't get why people do that. That's just doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help you out. You lost the duel. Just you know, just either hit the surrender, or just let you get hit to zero. I mean, I'd rather you just hit surrender. You know, so everybody can continue going. But some people are just, I guess, like that. So it looks like we have opened up a strange hand. But you know what? It's not strange because we do have that rota, and he is playing spell books. So. This is going to be pretty much a kind of, it's going to be actually a big, a big problem. What is this? Whoa, why did I never see that card before? Because it's ass. There's no possible way he has that card down there. If that's fate, I'm going to just be upset. Because I know he couldn't activate this one, so I don't understand why he even got it. If you have no spell book cards... Yeah, see, I don't. Yeah, see, I don't know why he grabbed it. I mean, what what else could he have got? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's the best one to get. Now that that's right there is just amazing. This misses timing, doesn't it? When this card, yes. All right. So we're going to activate Rhoda, and we're going to chain the young Twin Twister because this misses timing. Ooh, that was a strike too. That shit would have hurt. Pretty sure it does miss timing, right? Yes, it does. Woo! All right, so we have got past that. All right, so now it's time to dilly daddle all over his young face because he is a spellbook player, and I did hate this deck for a long time. So since he is a spellbook, you know what? I don't know what I should do. I was just finna forget once again to use Vion's second effect. Going to get this polymerization. I really thought Deadly Guy was out. That really surprised me when I tried to play a TCG duel, and it said no, you could not. Um, possibly should have got rid of the diamond dude, but we don't give a fuck about that. We're, we're just going straight in. Um, now see, I don't know if I want to go the Omega route, which I kind of don't, you know, I'm really, oh fuck. I can't, I have to go the Omega route because I completely fucked that up. So we can do this, send uh, the young plague. And then what we can do is just get the second Mally out right now. And proceed to Pot of Desires because now we just we need to just leave our hand. Oh, a lore. We can use a lore. Let's see what lore gets us. Oh, future fusion. That that works. Um, oh, we can have another polymerization. That's that's really good. But we don't have a dragon. Oh wait. Well, that's one pot of vividity. All right. So we got another one. All right. What's banished? Uh, mind control. Destiny jaw. D barrier. Shadow mist. Strike. Da -da -da -da. Oh, all right. So that it kind of hurt. It kind of hurts now. What we're going to do is do this. Stack you. Bam. And you know what? We can actually go Void Dragon right now because that's the better option. And then we can just activate this Young Future Fusion. Um, and you don't even need to use anything, right? Nope. And we can set two. And you know, we can literally set everything up. He's going to take 25 and he's going to take 5,000 to start to, to just start to start his the second turn off. With 5,000 left. But, I mean, 3,000 left, which is a very, which is very, very hard for spellbooks to come back from. And then, what does it say? Spellbook of Crescent says you can't even have spellbooks in your graveyard. Yeah, so that's that's already one dead card. Um, Yeah, I don't care about that. That doesn't do anything. Spellbook of Power. Now, no, Rudra. I don't like that. Wait. Send from your hand one spellcaster. So that means he has to empty his hand. Uh, oh, so that means you have nothing. All right. So you have a dead, you have a monster. So that means, yeah, that's it. Hentai, you just got 
raped. Now that is a joke that probably shouldn't have been said, but you know what? You know what? It would have been better. Hentai, you just got fucked. There we go. We're going to end that on that. That was a good one. Clap it up. That was good. But yeah, thank, uh, not thank. I mean, I know no, it is. Thank you. What am I talking about? Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for your support. I like it. Um, I enjoy it. I, I really do feel good about it. Thank you guys for all that. Let me know what you think about the deck or what deck I should play next. Um, because uh, D Heroes is done, so I got to come up with something different. You guys leave your comments in below, leave your suggestions below. Also, subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with another duel. But for D Heroes, we are done, we are out. Thank you guys for watching.